Let's talk about Hollywood and Hillary and racism, because as we all know, racism's epicenter is the Oscars and Hillary Clinton. <laughs> oh, wait, that's crazy. Uh, but uh, a... <laughs> wait a second. Clearly. Uh, okay, but... <laughs> well, they got part of it right. She is white. It, <laughs> right. It, it is a little crazy that the, the protests I see have to do with the Oscars and with Hillary Clinton. A Black Lives Matter protester mm. interrupted Hillary at a fundraiser and right. said, Hillary Clinton, can you apologize to black people for mass incarceration? I, you know, of the thousand things I could complain about with yeah. Hillary Clinton, being a racist really doesn't rise to the top of it. I mean, it's... it's and she's also it's, used to oh, yeah. getting the apologies. It's, but it's, it sure is fun being purer than everybody else. Right. But does this person realize that Donald Trump in South Carolina, 20% of the voters who voted for Donald Trump disagree with the Emancipation Proclamation? Right. And this is who you're going after? This is where we start the battle, you fucking idiots. <laughs> no, no, I don't agree on, with on. that. I don't yeah. think, look, I don't really, agree with that. Uh, I'll minute. tell you why. Bill, Bill, I don't think they were calling... Let's, let's be fair. Just like when Kanye West said George Bush doesn't care about black people, he didn't call him a racist, although George Bush heard racist. They're not, they're not claiming as the Black Lives Matter that Hillary is a racist. What they're saying is that negative racial consequences flowed from mass incarceration. Incarceration. And by the way, when they accused her of talking about the super predator, which she did, let's note the fact she apologized. Bernie Sanders... And it was taken out of context. But, but not she was, was not saying black people are predators. No, no, no. She was saying super predators, the language that John DeLuia or, or somebody was using about okay. black criminals you know, during the second... But yes, here's my she point. Did she at least we... apologized and acknowledged that that was a problem. But I'm saying I think it's sexist for people to impute to Hillary Clinton what her husband did. Her husband was the president of the United States of America, not Hillary Clinton. That's right. Right. Now, now, but I'm not mad at... And look, what, but one party does not even acknowledge that racism even exists. They say it's an urban myth. No, no, no. You, you're but, right. But, but see, that show... What, the Black Lives Matter implicitly are proving the humanity of the Democrats because at least they're humane enough to respond in kind to them. The, the, the Republicans don't give a flying uh, damn about right. what's going on there, and therefore, they, they, they prove their inhumanity. Plus, so, in one sense, they're affirming it. And, and the, George Bush is the party, The party that has... <laughs> The party that was supposed to be for the for, for black people right. has let them down continuously, and that's what the Black Lives Matter Absolutely. movement is right. going after the you know Democrats what? because they're the ones who are supposed to be on their side. Exploiting them, They've taking them for granted. The Republicans. Take women, taking them for granted. So look, you, you, but but as a person is, as a person who believes that Hillary Clinton will be the next president of the United States of America, I'm telling you from a sympathetic position, it is there is no problem with Black Lives Matter challenging them because the Democrats have had a history, as Brother Ruffalo has said, of exploiting those black people. But at the end of the day, I think that Hillary Clinton is not only the smartest person, the most prepared person, but the person who has given the most credible empirical analysis of race in the last 20 years by a major American politician. I'll stand by that. Absolutely. 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 It's right. People need to learn the difference between an imperfect friend and a deadly enemy. No doubt. You want to tear Hillary Clinton down? Great. Then enjoy President Trump. Yeah. You only get two choices in America. That's right. but, two choices. But, there's, so, but it's perfectly legitimate to keep Black Lives Matter at the absolutely. front of what people are thinking about, right? Because if absolutely. you're not there showing your issues, someone else is there instead. Right. And I think, you know, it was unfortunate the way she did it, but at least she'd been allowed into Hillary's thing. You can imagine that she would have been blocked from Trump's all I think and what, when you turn we... around on the crowd, she's the only black person there. Well, and this the, is a yeah, right. $500 a plate fundraiser. And we wouldn't be why, talking why about this Democrat, unless they Why is that a problem? It's, Do they have to be everywhere giving you money? Who's they? Mitch, the black people? Oh. <laughs> oh, really? I can't... <laughs> yes, we should be everywhere. Oh, 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 yes, we should man. be. No, no, no. Look, I can't use the term no, but they come on, when man. I... That come makes on. me a racist? Come on, Bill. Yeah, me I'm the you, problem, Brad. too. You know I'm no, not... No, no, no. Okay. Not at all. But, but what I'm saying... You reacted you... when I said they. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I didn't react. That was not me, bro. That, that was, was him. Me, no, I'm that was me. That was him. I promise. I know I'm a light-skinned Negro, but I'm not a white guy, okay? But they all look alike. Bill, 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 no, no. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm sympathetic to you in terms of 
the argument about the efficacy of race. What you're arguing about, if I can, if I can dare to speak for you, is that let's be politic and strategic about getting even our friends who have made mistakes who are imperfect to do the things we want them to do. Let's not close them down so much because if you keep practicing the politics of disruption to the degree that they don't get a chance to respond, then that's counterproductive. However, the reason we're talking about this today is because they have been effective in forcing a conversation that we'd rather avoid, but at the end of the day, I'm rolling with HRC to the end because I think she gives a serious indication of what's happening in this country racially. So we can have Black Lives Matter articulating their concerns and Hillary Clinton responding to them better, by the way, than the occupant of the White House and others who claim to be the friends of African-American people as well. Okay.